Hey guys, I'm back. So, I have some confessions to make. <clears throat> and I have some new stuff to show, which I'm sure you can see. Hey, I got bags. Yeah, got some new fish. Gonna be awesome. But I'll show you those here in a second. But I just want you guys to know that these are the tanks that I have here that I've been giving you all these updates on and everything. These are more or less like my kind of show tanks or s the things that I have interest in right now. Down in the basement, I have other tanks that I am currently breeding all kinds of different fish in. I don't think I've ever said anything to you guys about this stuff. But... Those tanks are going to be dwindling in numbers because, unfortunately, I was actually the victim of identity theft. So, right now, I am actually renting a house. And I'm trying to keep everything kind of, like, more on the down low than anything else. Um, but I hired Lexington Law Firm to uh, fix my credit for me. So, as soon as my credit's back to normal, which it's already been going up, I will be getting a loan. I will be buying another house. And everything will be in full swing. Um, today, I was at PetSmart. Oh, before I forget, this tank, I actually have a bunch of... Uh, breeding uh, snakeskin discus downstairs and usually what I'll do is I'll bring some of the best looking fish and I'll bring them up here into the room and then if they breed you know I'll, I throw them over here in my little breeder tank um, but right now basically what I'm doing and the reason there's a couple different reasons why I haven't shown off the basement tanks yet. One, it's all on the same filtration, which I understand that people would be upset about that because if one thing goes wrong, I crash every single tank. Um, with most of those tanks, I add medicine to the entire system every now and then just to make sure that you know, everything's fine and dandy and, you know, so we, I don't have a major crash. Um, and most of those are German blue rams, discus, like softer water fish. And then, like say, hey, I have a fish that would look really good in say my my show tanks these are my zen tanks these are the tanks that I sit and I just watch and I watch to help me relieve anxiety of the day and not to mention these are also some of my first planted tanks I've had planted tanks in the past like I just threw plants in there and stuff like that I'm talking about like full one aquascape tanks these are actually my first attempts at actual aquascaping. Which, all in all, it's not too bad. Um, since I knew that this tank was going to be a heavy plant load, I did the dirt substrate. You know, dirted tank. And yes, I would love to do like more, like more hills, stuff like that, instead of just flat. But, all in all, I think it personally came together quite nicely. Um, matter of fact, in this tank over here, I portray a little bit of the hills more than I do because, like, these two, uh, big wood blocks are actually sitting on small hills. So, that's my confession. Here, eventually, um, once I get into a new house and I'm able to set up the filtration the way it should be, I'm going to probably have all my tanks down there. Every last one of them. Um, 
just that way you know I can keep a closer eye on the fish room and stuff like that. I mean, heck, in in that room down there, I have Tetris spawning. Um, I have angelfish, which these angelfish, the ones I have downstairs are more project angelfish. There are some strains that I've never seen before. I'm trying to breed for better colorations, stuff like that. Um, these two were rescued from a pet store. And I showed, started showing you guys the videos after I nursed them back to health. Um, they weren't doing very well. So I had to, you know, I brought them in and now they've been breeding in this tank. Um, once I see what some of the babies look like, if the, I get cool color formations or something like that, then they'll probably be moved downstairs. And then I'll bring some of the other ones up here. But these ones are well behaved. You, you know, they just go well in this tank. Um, I have more snails downstairs. I have blues. I have... Um, I have black, blues, I have golds, I have ivories. Oh, God. I have different shrimps. Which, the shrimps and the snails are on their own filtration system. Um, mainly because of, you know, filtering-wise. Um, because of me adding the medicines and stuff to the other tanks. Um, a lot of those tanks also have green water. Or they're severely dark with tannins. So that's why... A few reasons why I haven't shown. Not to mention I don't have internet connection here because... Service Electric sucks. Their service sucks. I had... A 50 meg connection here at one point. And they didn't tell me when I hooked up that I had a gigabyte cap limit so after every after my date with the 50 gig plan it was 500 gigabyte cap after that cap they charged uh ten dollars for every 50 well i got tired of going over my data which it was only by like maybe a hundred i get the faster internet connection the hundred meg which gives me a thousand gig and somehow i'm still i was still going over that my last bill with them was over three hundred dollars when my bill was only supposed to be like a hundred and I think like a hundred and forty five at the most. So yeah, I told them to take their service and shove it. Right now I'm waiting for another internet service provider to start running their lines through here. But hopefully I'll be moved by then. Not to mention for some reason when I'm in the basement I don't get service. It's just a mess. But anywho. Now, since I ranted and rambled about all that, um, I did get some new fish. I have Julie's quarries in this tank. Okay? And I have not been, for the life of me, able to find them anywhere. Well, I went to PetSmart today. Picked up a couple more Julie Corridors. For some reason, I love the uh, the Julies better than the Sturbys. And this is the thing I'm most excited about. It's another softwater fish that hopefully I can easily breed. I've never bred it before, and they had four of them. Only four. So I picked up all four. Twig catfish. I forget the scientific name of this one, if I remember I'll make the comment, but there's two smaller ones and two bigger ones, so I'm hoping males and females. Uh, for now, after they come out of quarantine and everything, I'm going to be drip acclimating them right now. Right now, I'm temping them. After the drip acclimation and uh, about uh, two weeks in the quarantine tank at least, um, I will be adding them to this tank. Uh, only because I want to watch them. I want to see their behaviors because I've never even had them before and I know they could be bred in aquariums so as soon as I see two of them pair off 
as a couple. I will be moving them downstairs into the more uh, the more habitat style. Like I'll put them in a black water tank because uh, they do come from the Amazon. And they are in the same waters with discus, a lot of different quarries that we have in the hobby, tetras, stuff like that, angels. So I know they'll fit in perfectly in here for now. And considering they mainly eat more plant matter and uh, mainly wood, they, they'll pick at wood and stuff. So putting them in a the planted tank, I think it's going to be a good idea. Today I am definitely going to get in here and get some of this cleaned up and trimmed because uh, my uh, Blixa, one of my plants isn't looking too high. I think I might move that out a little bit in the more direct light. And for some reason I have a huge accumulation of bubbles on top of the water, so. But, all right, well, I'll let you guys know when I have them added to the actual tank give it about two weeks um, matter of fact even these quarries are going in here because I want to give the quarries that I have in here there's one of them um, some buddies I mean heck he's pretty much thinking that he's a tetra at this point so but alright I'll keep you guys posted later on